The virtual classroom gives you the ability to host a video conference with interactive capabilities. Not only can you share webcam, but your audience can answer interactive questions, participate in whiteboard activities, enter breakout rooms, and send or receive messages. Let's dive into Dojo 360's virtual classroom. Open the course that you would like to use. Then select the class tab at the top. This displays all the classes within the course. Locate the class you would like to use and expand the card. Make sure you have the virtual classroom selected for video conferencing. When you are ready to begin, select the start button. This will place you inside the class lobby. If you set a specific start time during the class creation process, the join button will be displayed instead of the start button. Either option will take you into the virtual classroom lobby. Learners can join the virtual classroom by logging into their Dojo 360 account, select the course, and navigate to the class tab to join. When you are ready to begin presenting, select the join button. You will be prompted to choose your audio settings. You could use your computer's mic and speaker or a phone. We are now inside your virtual classroom and a blank whiteboard page is being displayed. Let's go over some of the functionality that you have. At the top, you can record the class session by selecting Start Recording. At the bottom, you can mute and unmute your mic, leave the audio altogether, share your webcam, and share your screen. On the right, you have access to all the whiteboard tools. On the left, you could use the deck button to toggle between your deck and whiteboard. When viewing your deck, you could use the arrows in the bottom left corner to advance throughout your slideshow. If you'd like to skip around your slides, you could select the slide on the left and it will instantly be displayed to your learners. It's that simple. When you land on an interactive slide, a toolbar will appear at the bottom. Selecting the open button will instantly open polling, giving your learners the opportunity to answer the question. When you are ready to close polling and lock in responses, select the close button. Once again, use the arrows at the bottom to navigate to the next slide. If it's an interactive slide, Select the open button to open polling. At any time, you could start a countdown timer. Once the countdown ends, polling will automatically close. You could also choose when you'd like your results to be displayed. When set to no results, the results will not be displayed to your learners. When set to results after, the results will be displayed to your learners as soon as you close polling. When set to live results, your learners will be able to see the results as they come in. Now that we have set when our results will be displayed, let's change the way our results are presented. When set to list, you will see the percentage selected for each answer choice. If you chose to set a correct answer when pulling closes, that answer choice will appear in green with the check mark. When set to bar, your results will be placed in a vertical bar chart. Again, if the correct answer is set when pulling is closed, the correct answer will have a check mark. When set to pie, your results will be placed in a pie chart. When set to word cloud, all answer choices will be displayed with the most popular being placed front and center. When you are ready to lock in your learner's responses, select the close button. When you are done with class, click on the menu button in the top right corner, then select end meeting or leave. A confirmation window will appear. Select the end meeting button. Navigate to the results tab if you'd like to see your detailed reports and analytics.